Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Little Sketches. Now, I know I haven't posted in a while, but no. Welcome back to my channel. It's Turtle Sketches. I know I haven't posted in a while, and I'm sorry for that. But today, I'm rolling you guys out with a new video. We are going to be doing another Colors into People Challenge. Today, we are doing red. I still haven't picked out my markers yet, so we'll be doing that on camera now. This is the piece that we will be coloring. I did this little heartbreak girl. I kind of went for an emo vibe, as you can see with the mini hearts and stuff heartbreak so we're going to be doing that and i'm going to be talking a bit to you guys about guardians a little more i'm still writing that but let's just get into the video <laughs> so for our colors since we are mainly using reds i was going to be using just this entire section right here I'm going to be using a little bit of pink, but for any lighter reds, I want to be mainly using these two colors from my pastel set here. And so I'm going to go grab those colors. I'm going to line the character real quick off screen, and then we're going to get into the coloring. So I will see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so these are the markers we are using. Some of these colors are a bit more pink than I'd like them to be, but that's alright. We'll, we're working with what we got. And this is the finished line art piece. I really like how it came out, except for this little part right here. My hand slipped, but that's okay. I'm sure once I add color and stuff, it'll look fine. So let's just get into the coloring. Alrighty, so I must say with the lighting, it made the drawing a little more pink than I would have preferred it to be. I kept trying to mess with the lighting situation, but my camera kept having it pull up as pink. But I'll have a photo reference at the end of what the drawing looks like. I promise it's a little more red than what it is in the video. But other than that, I really liked doing this drawing. I'm really enjoying this colors as people challenge that I keep doing because it's helping me a lot with values and like blending and stuff and I'm really enjoying it. So guys, let me know in the comments what color I should do next. I was thinking maybe I do blue since I do since I did red. And also, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I cannot believe we've made this milestone. It's very encouraging to me and i just want to say thank you to all those who've been sticking with me since the beginning of my channel and the beginning of my old channel so if you've been here that long that's how i know you're a real one and when ju i just want to say thanks to all of those people but i also would like to say thank you to the new people who subscribed that helped us get to 500 subscribers i've been posting a lot of shorts on my little uploading break of regular content and I know you guys are a big help in me getting to 500 subscribers and I'm glad you guys actually enjoy my shorts content because I'm always getting hundreds of views on my shorts and I, I really like doing those so I might be doing more in the future and I also wanted to say that with us hitting 500 subscribers I am doing a draw your OCs video like as a subscriber special so if you haven't already sent your OC, please do. I will have my email linked in the description for you to send your OCs. And I'll probably have it in the pinned comment below. So you guys can go do that while you're watching this video. And I believe that is it for now. I'll come back when I start doing other coloring parts of the character. And I will see you in a bit.
ば繰り返し寝ても覚めてもやまない避けない君の笑顔が恋しくて星に願うのまた会えるよね So when it came to the actual process for coloring and designing the character, I wanted to keep it simple, but also kind of recognizable. So for it being red, I decided to go with hearts. Mind you, I decided all of this in December. And right now this is coming out in February. So this is on my part, poor timing, but you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. But what I decided to do was to have her be kind of like this emo -y type character. Is that what it is? Do emo people still exist? Kind of, sort of. That might be a little rude, but I don't, I don't really care. No, don't, I don't really care, but I'm just like, I wanted it to kind of be a kind of grungy character, but with pastels and pinks and reds, like the opposite of grunge, but keeping that grunge fashion. So what, for what I decided to do, was kind of make it a heartbreak character. Like if you look on her outfit, there are a lot of heart motifs, but there are also heartbreak motifs. And on her little tag on her sleeve, where, well, it's covered up right now, but you'll see it later, like now, there, I'm gonna write break on it later, but I forgot to do that. And so then towards the end of the video, you'll just see it randomly appear. So don't worry about that. But overall, I really like her outfit and I definitely would put it on some of my other characters, like the grungy look. I feel like that is something Amber would wear. So I might put her in an outfit similar to this one because I, th I just think it looks good. I don't know, that might sound a little cocky, but you know, gotta, gotta live with it. Now for her hair, I know we're not on her hair right now, but I wanna talk about her hair. Her hair, I am really proud of the bangs that I did. I tried to keep, I tried to make her bangs a little more dynamic and softer, but also not the way I usually draw bangs. And I actually like, during the sketching phase, I know y'all didn't see it, but during the sketching phase on her head, I put a little dot to sort of map out where the bangs would go and how they would fall. I normally don't do that, but I've been trying to get better at doing that like actually trying to map out where I want things to go instead of just placing it wherever I think it fits best. So I've been trying to do that. I've been improving a bit because I've also been doing that with some of my newer art pieces that you guys haven't seen or some of you might have, I don't know. But I'm trying to do that in her hair. I tried to do like this kind of blendy thing with her hair for it from going pink to white, you'll see it in a bit once I'm done with her eyes, but I didn't. it didn't really work that well. I might have to redo this piece, but as a digital drawing so that I could better blend it from color to translucent. I don't, cause I don't really know what I was thinking anyways with it trying to be translucent. I was just trying something new, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think the piece looks good? If not, tell me what would you fix about it, and just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions. So now that we were finally working on her hair, you can kind of see where I am trying to do the translucent part. I think it works better, personally, on her bangs and on her main, the main part of her hair instead of her little buns, but that's just me. And just so y'all know, the camera is gonna cut off. I forgot I cut it off and then it's gonna translate to live in-person me. So you'll see that again. And I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty guys, so I just finished the piece. I added the white gel. I added some shading to her hair. I fixed up her outfit. I really like how it came out actually. 
I just realized I forgot to add in the break right there. So I will we'll do that really quickly. Then we'll have a quick little montage. But I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the things if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, it's nice. Just pick one. Hey, it's nice. and chasing whatever inspires you, no matter where it leads, you fabulous little creatures. <laughs>